The watersheds surrounding the volcano known as Mount Shasta are being targeted by corporations wanting to exploit the region's freshwater resources because there are no effective state laws protecting the groundwater from industrial extraction, from water and beverage bottling, or from fracking. We advocate thorough environmental review, or WATER as we're known by our acronym, organized in 2013 when the community learned Crystal Geyser Water Company had purchased a large empty manufacturing building um, in order to develop a beverage bottling operation. And there was no local agency that was going to require an environmental study of its impacts. After we have seen the EIR, we could see many of the problems that would be coming up. Our air pollution, the water pollution, traffic, they'll be producing plastic bottles that will contribute to this horrible situation. Crystal Geyser is proposing to pump unregulated amounts of groundwater to make their beverages and fill millions of plastic bottles a day. And they want to use the leach field here and dump all types of chemicals which can't be tracked very well until after a situation happens. Crystal Geyser proposes to pump from two industrial wells which are in an area called the Gateway Neighborhood in Mount Shasta. They will pump more in one day than three of my neighbors will pump in an entire year. Crystal Geyser proposes to take the industrial rinse water and put it back into the leach field and into our shared drinking water aquifer. Back in Coca-Cola and Dannon days, people's wells went dry and others had serious water quality issues. So serious that they had to purchase five gallon bottles of water just to survive on a day-to-day -day basis. So what we decided to do was start a baseline groundwater testing where we've monitored the groundwater levels for the last four years. We're going to use this if and when the plant opens. We believe that this baseline data will protect the neighborhood from Crystal Geyser. We are located at the headwaters of the Sacramento River. So it's important to protect these natural resources, not only for local residents, but for the millions downstream and future users. To pollute this water at its source means polluting it for everyone else downstream. Our community was outraged when in California's historic drought, Crystal Geyser was proposing to open a beverage bottling plant with no environmental review whatsoever and unlimited amounts of water extraction. So at Water, we began to educate ourselves about the California Environmental Quality Act, also known as CEQA, and what that meant and how it could be applied to this situation. We found out we also needed to learn about the effects of unlimited water extraction from our local aquifer. We had to learn about the pollution effects of industrial plant production. And we had to learn about what was involved in industrial bo plastic bottle production, as well as linking our movement to the wider issue of environmental social justice. Although local agencies and the county initially said that no environmental impact report or environmental review would be needed whatsoever, we successfully rallied the community to participate in the CEQA process, attending public meetings, writing comment letters, and talking at Board of Supervisors meetings. We also initiated a lawsuit that challenged the zoning ordinances on the Crystal Geyser property itself. Through this massive amount of outpouring, we were able to get, finally, an EIR. However, the EIR that was adopted by the county was fatally flawed, and we are now challenging this approval of this plant and its EIR in court. We're collaborating with other groups around the mountain to create a larger movement to protect our invaluable water resources and the public right to water. And there are ways you can help. For example, carry your own reusable water bottle instead of buying water in single-use plastic bottles. 
You can brew your own tea instead of buying it pre-brewed in single-use plastic bottles. And please help us continue and expand our work by making a donation to We Advocate Thorough Environmental Review. We are not giving up.